and win this. Winning a three match test series 3 0 for the first time it's done. He'll be aware of that. He knows there's a bit of bad weather around. He'll be scheming away, trying to find a way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yes, oh, there's a run out chance here. Must be out. Miles out. Complete misunderstanding, and Morton is livid with his captain, fuming. He called the run, Vittori had to spoil away to pick it up, and no wonder, he's and looking back, he is fuming, get out of his way, he's a big man. I'll oh, clear the dressing room, clear it now, because this man is coming back and he is not happy, there was no communication, he was calling the run, Chandapur wasn't looking at him, was not interested, Vittori got down well. I don't know uh, whether Morton actually goes past Chanderpaul here and beats him back. It's, it's, to me, it's a very fine line. They have to decide who's out here because Chanderpaul did go, he did leave his crease. He did leave his crease. Now then, he leaves his crease. Does Morton get back down this end before Chanderpaul can turn and get back? If he beats him back, Chanderpaul is out. Chanderpaul's out there. Who's touched the bat first? Who touches the bat first? Goodness me. Oh, God. Pick that. Pick that. Who's out? It's the first for a third umpire, I tell you, this one. I've got a feeling that Morton is just, just a coat of varnish ahead. At that point, he's ahead. And I've got a feeling if he gets there, if that's down there, he might have just beaten Chanderpaul back. Which batsman gets the benefit of the doubt? <laughs> they both should. Don't they give the batsman the benefit of the doubt? They have to decide who's out. Now, if we can't prove it, who's going to go? Morton ain't going to go anywhere. We've got three batsmen out there because Dwayne Bravo's already making his way to the middle. This unlikely situation, we've got Morton halfway off, Bravo halfway back, Who's back? Chanda Paul at the back. Oh, Morton's beaten him. Oh, has he? He's about the end. Has he? Oh, it's Chanda Paul's down. Oh, you call it. Rigger, this is unbelievable stuff. I think Chanda Paul's bats in the air. I really do. And Morton's is down. Richie Beno's been doing this for 60 years. I don't think he's ever called one of those. It's Chanda Paul's good Who's down first? The back bat or the front bat? I think in the interest of safety, so the batsmen don't have to cross again mid-outfield, it benefit goes to Chandapur. I think he's just beaten him down. Well, his, uh, Gary Baxter is making a ruling here. He's going to give it to Morton by the sound of it. We're, the, we're, we're going to give it to... Uh, it sounds like Gary Baxter's going to call Chandapur off. Yes. The word is Chanderpool's now. Now look at the wide berth that uh, Chanderpool and Morton are going to take. The boots on the other foot. <laughs> this is unbelievable stuff. Oh, so Chanderpool's got to go. As I said, Benno, he's been doing this for 70 years, 60 years. He never had to call one of those. Freaky. Talk about bad batting changes. That has been unbelievable stuff. chanderpool has gone for two. Run out by Vittori, and it's still 189 for four. And it should be said, it should be said that Chanderpool should have gone because he absolutely messed up the run. It was Morton's call. Vittori was on his, on his back at one stage, Morton called the run, it's his right to go, and his captain never gave him the time of day. Well, Morton would have believed he was going to the danger end too. It was in front of the wicket, definitely his call. In terms of that's what you tell kids if you're coaching kids. Charnapal turned his back, wasn't interested, but turned his back on Morton as well. Didn't show enough urgency in getting back. Now, what about the concentration of this bloke? He's got to regather himself. He's had so many mood swings in the last two to three minutes. How angry was he at first? 
if he can get through the next four or five balls, he's done well. He was fuming. I know this Chartapur said something to him as he wanted to pass. Words of encouragement, I don't know. And the only bloke that knew where he was going was Dwayne Bravo. We were just uh, in the air for a little while and passed the mid wicket, and they'll run back for a very safe two here. Sums up Chandapur's uh, tour so far, that dismissal. Could be his last dismissal, you don't know, uh, in New Zealand on this tour, and uh, he's found uh, an interesting way of getting out, to say the least. Well, that gets her in a bit of anger. Clubs Dyrus down the ground. We forgot to even talk about the fact that Dyrus was into the attack. There's so much going on. Weird. Really weird. Yeah, good shot. He leans back on his drives. He gives it everything. He's really thumped that. He's thumped it straight. It was the way he stormed off. Then he stopped. And he stormed back as well. When he found out it was him. When he found out that he was safe, the call came through, he just stormed back out to the middle. Actually, we saw a shot there of Chandapal in the background. We should show the replay again because Chandapal stationed himself right in front, right in front of the TV set and the players viewing area. So he can see these replays and he looks none too happy about things. Just emotioning and uh, a little bit of air and gesticulating. We'll just show uh, Chandapal again. He might think he was back first. You did, didn't you? You thought uh, Chandapal was back first? Well, he didn't slide his bat. I thought his bat might have been the air, but I saw that. I thought he just got it down before Morton got his across the line. It's dead heat. Absolute dead heat, if you ask me. about benefit of the doubt, I think the benefit of the doubt must go to the angrier batsman. And what we should uh, point out, and, and it's, I think it's the most worthwhile part of it, is one, it wasn't a bad bit of fielding from Daniel Vittori, but two, it was just appalling running from Chandapool. Player plays the ball in front of square, in other words, down the ground, you trust him to make the call, and you must as a non-striker as a non-striker you must pay attention to what your mate is doing he just didn't completely ignore him didn't even listen to him let alone watch him oh boy well, I think on the audio too you, you hear Morton yell out yes yes when he realised his partner wasn't running No doubt in his mind he felt there was a single there and he was coming the whole time, called quickly and then panicked when he saw his skipper wasn't coming. Now that's uh, another quick sing run and that's done well. Good two, two and five.